I'm one of the cool kids now. Uh, my YouTube video was censored. Yesterday I uploaded a, a video on 9-11 called 9-11 lest we forget and it was somewhat um, critical of the official story of 9-11 and I uploaded it yesterday and then I went outside and I uploaded it and then I went uh, I boosted it on mines so it would be seen but I went out and then I came back and then I saw this your boost for 9-11 unless we forget was rejected your points have been credited back to your wallet I was like what the fuck what the fuck mines what, what did you just do but then I went to see my YouTube channel and uh, well the video was gone I had gotten a, a copyright strike like so um, I won't read all of it but just to show you I didn't make it up so anyway then I thought like okay let's I, I went to my Vidme channel and the video is still up there which is nice so you can see it if you're interested interested and um, then um, I decided to try to like boost my Vidme video of the like Vidme version of the same 9-11 video on on mines and it was accepted so actually I have to uh, say I think mines was very nice to me like I think they rejected my first boost of the video because the video had been deleted so basically that I didn't waste all these points like uh, 5,000 minus points so uh, thank you mines or whoever <laughs> did it I, I suppose I have to say like I have heard some other uh, users on mines claim that um, mines has rejected their boosts and if that's true and of course it, uh, I, I saw uh, like depending on what sort of stuff they were boosting and stuff but still I, I, it doesn't sound so nice but at least in this case mines was pretty nice so I have to give it to them but anyway so yeah this is the original like I tried to upload it and I saw this uh, okay have they deleted the video and they had and but this is my feed me video and it's still there and uh -huh, I got a dislike oh no I'm pretty sure they didn't even watch the video. They just don't like my topic, probably. But anyway, so I I appealed this decision or this claim that I violated community guidelines. Like uh, the picture is a bit small, so I don't know how well you can see it here. You can go to my minds channel if you if you're interested. But I don't know. It's just normal stuff but uh, hey this is at least looks cool date received September 11 so I got it on the right date at least yeehaw so anyway like I think it's a complete bullshit charge and it's it's just clear censorship since like uh, they say that we've removed it my video from YouTube and aside the community guideline strike or temporary penalty to your account and then restrictions if a video contains violent or graphic content that appears to be posted in a shocking sensational or disrespectful manner it's less likely to be allowed on YouTube well that can be pretty much anything like I don't I haven't seen them at least maybe but yeah mainly they haven't been like censoring leftists who say punch Nazis I think that's shocking sensational and disrespectful and okay maybe you can say that I was acting disrespectful in my video but I think I've done similar stuff in my previous videos I they haven't gotten any strikes and I'm I know I'm not the only one on YouTube who has acted somewhat disrespectful in their videos sometimes uh, and we also don't allow content that's intended to incite violence or encourage dangerous activities. Well, I don't think I in I incited violence. Of course, like 
You can claim that pretty much anything is intended to incite violence, even though you are not actually inciting violence, but you know, they can come up with like some, you know, some microaggression shit or something like that. And encourage dangerous activities. Well, like, I suppose, like, if you challenge one of the norms of society or like what the government says like that's that can be construed as a dangerous activity i guess like if i am encouraging people to question the official narrative on 9-11 but uh, but like i don't know i don't think i did anything like that unusual when it comes to 9-11 like there have been many more i don't know controversial videos on 9-11 on youtube i'm pretty sure uh Blah, blah. So yeah, is is still not acceptable to post violent or gory content that primar that's primarily intended to be shocking, sensational, or disrespectful. Well, it's not violent or gory. Like there was the gif, gif or gif, as some people say, gif animation of uh, Building Seven from the World Trade Center falling into its footprint. Um, I don't think it's violent or gory. Like, no, I think there's been probably much more violent stuff and that, that fucking clip has been played on YouTube countless times, I'm pretty sure. So anyway, this is all bullshit. I appealed it and stuff. We'll see what happens to it. I, I'm not sure, like, all of these things. This is all new to me. Um, but yeah, I don't think, like, you know, my channel is very minor, uh, so I think it's probably like some bot, like they predicted that since it was 9-11, people will be making videos about 9-11, and so they, like, wrote some protocol to their bots to, you know, scan for certain kinds of comment that comments, and and I think maybe it's because my uh, the tag some of the tags in my video were Israel and Mossad, and I don't think they want them to be associated with 9/11. So maybe that's part of the reason why I got the strike. Or uh, I don't know. Like if, if this is just like uh, the uh, your video 9-11 lest we forget was flagged for review like flagged by whom was it flagged by a bot or a person or like did somebody just see my video like um like did they can i like yeah i guess it's a i can still see this video for seven days to like you know review the content and stuff uh, it has four views, and probably like two of them are my own. So I don't think anybody even watched it. I just think that, uh, like, it was some bot and stuff because they, you know, predicted people will be making videos as I did very predictably, and then I got a, uh, I got to the Hall of Fame of YouTube as being censored. Woohoo!